Here we are playing some Scrutinize. This will probably be the first video. But I'm just going to cut that intro sequence into the beginning of the game. Um, or in the next video. I just... It's so long. It's so unnecessarily long. <laughs> they could have cut out like half of it and it would have been fine. Computer and Adam doesn't start. fucking call you to tell you how to play the game. Instead, you have to read it in like a seven page long fucking tutorial on how to play the fucking game. <laughs> Rather than calling you on Skype and then going over how to do shit. Wait, first off, let's open up this door. They did update it. So this isn't the first version anymore. I think it's fixing a few bugs. Which, I hope to God, they fix the, uh... I had a bug where I was on the computer, and then I was just doing something, and the next thing you know, I was in this bedroom over here. And then the, all the lights were off. But it, the breaker wasn't tripped. Like, I didn't have to go reset the breaker. I had to go back and turn on, like, three different lights. Shit, and I don't think I actually turned off... I think it was only the hallway light. I don't think it was any of the other lights. But, roll a scene. <laughs> Wait, when the actual fuck just happened? Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking characters irresponsible. This is the reason why people die. There we go. And then we still have security cameras, which I'm actually going to drag down to the bottom right hand corner all right and then we'll put this right here drop this here put that there and then that way when we need to go to our security cameras we have access to each and every one easy anyway i went for a run the other day and saw mr disher behind me i said hi and moved on but 20 minutes later he was still following me okay i know this one's a shred Lurker, I recently hired this DJ for my club, hot off the underground scene and all. My guys and I figured she was ready for the big leagues. She was, She's a weird one, though. I have had countless problems with her. She's aggressive, loud, erratic. I can't fire her because she's brought in too many customers. She's good for business. Maybe she's on drugs, perhaps she's not, but she's dangerous. After all, or after she finished her set for the night, I saw her head. Okay, so you know what? Let's just immediately start looking up. We're gonna look up Laura Kruger. Fucked up sleeping schedule. Sorry, fucked up sleeping schedule. Okay, no, nothing. Yeah, so there's nothing there. What about Manda Mart? Aspirin and Rito's Cheese Puffs. She's clean there. Still can't rule out. Because all the evidence we need, she has no alias. Wait, why is the picture on her driver's license the same as her social media? And they won't even let you take a picture like that. I mean, you can't use that for a license. I just wish there was a fucking light on in the closet. Any creepies? I don't know if I actually have to check the bathroom. I'm still doing it just to be extra safe. Sorry, the last time that happened, I ended up teleporting to a different room. Alright, so really this is best DJ, top 100 dance, NA meetings near me. Although she does do drugs, that there is a few things, but I'm pretty, I mean, besides that, she's not like, she's a DJ, what do you expect? You know what, I'm just going to shred it. Who cares if she's doing drugs? 
That was not a shredder. Apparently, I was supposed to take the drugs, and that was the evidence. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't believe we're going to get killed by him yet. I think we're fine. Oh, come on! That was the second time in the same fucking camera. <laughs> Am I, like, catching him at, like, the last second? Is that why this is happening? Or is that just like a... There's a jump scare that just keeps happening. Like, I, I wonder if I, if I go back into it, if it'll happen again. This is my nine-year-old niece and in her excitement to go to the park, ran out of the house without me. I grabbed my things and immediately ran after her, but couldn't find her after. So it seemed like forever. I found her hiding in the park. I was fuming mad, but she ran up to me crying. She said something about a strange man attacking a lady in a car. I tried to calm her down to figure out what happened. She said the lady was moving really slow and the man punched her in the leg with an orange thing. This is a shred. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid now after that. I'll admit. Alfred Taylor, it's no secret that Mrs. Taylor's business going down gutter for several years. I've been drawing from his savings to keep the place afloat. Okay, does that chair always out like that? Or is that like a reference to the first welcome to the game? I like how he keeps all his games in the same universe. I mean, like, the kidnappers in a different game that's not welcome to the game... Even though it's a similar game to Welcome to the Game, I think our internet's fine still. This dude doesn't even know how social media works. Dead. You know what? So after all the people that have been trying to break into your house all fucking game, you still haven't learned to keep your windows fucking closed. How many windows have I, are actually just closed? Like, one? <laughs> Did you, like, just go through and, like, ha fuck the player? See, that one's still locked. I, I didn't even have to do anything with that. 45 to 55. Search that. Jesus. That's like one of those situations where you just have like the kidnapper just immediately sprint to your house. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking at Lola or Norma Mestek. Okay, so I think if there's a hiker, it's probably going to be this lady. I think we're good. All right, so I've been hearing reports that if you keep it paused for a very long time, it actually doesn't pause and you'll get killed. So this is a test. I'm gonna go ahead, hop in here, and then hop out. I think we're fine. Because if there was an issue, I, I definitely would have fucking noticed. This is just paranoid me coming in, but it's better to be paranoid than to have one of the lights turn off and the kidnapper break in. Wait, so what causes the knocking? Like, who, who's doing it? Is it the kidnapper or is it the white dude in the white coat? I'm just fucking paranoid. But 
Told you. If you're ever unsure and you hear knocking and you have a noise in your house, just go and check all the lights. Always check off of noises. Noises are a huge indicator that something is looking to get inside. Looks like Magnus Solomon. So wait. Solomonson. Okay, wait, so he we need to look up Magnus Sa uh, Solomon son. Oh my god, can this guy have any worse of a last name? We're just gonna go and do this. Clear No police records. Around the world, human eye, raw bat wings, human finger salad. Glass of milk, assorted animal. Folds, testicles, and penis. Understanding American values and traditions. Pictures. Seems like it's just a food diet. Okay, that's just red. No! Okay. Hey man's being kind of active tonight. Wow. That was actually a good one. What, what's, what's this? Well, like, it doesn't matter if I don't get any extra completed. Um, granted, it'd be nice to get the go to bed early thing, but... You know what? Shred. Shred. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we can't shred another bad one. Holy shit, dude. Didn't I tell you... Why is every fucking light off? For fuck's sake, man. Please protect me. One window unlocked. Hey, we actually had one. One window. One window. You touched every one but one. I'm so disappointed in you. So what happens if we do shred another? Aww. Okay. I did read one thing. Keep the doors open. All the closet doors. Every single one of them. It has something to do with Tanner. The uh, lab coat dude who... Seems to be the hardest one to avoid. Was this closed? Yeah. I was wondering why these doors stay open in comparison with the other ones. It's because it's, it's part of the t uh, tactic for Tanner. Because apparently he hides in these closets. Dude, this fucking game. I swear to Christ. Wait a second. We are not safe. Alright, well that's interesting. I was doing so a little bit of research with the... Uh, With the kidnapper, I just wanted to see if he was the same one from Welcome to the Game, and his tattoos are different. Granted, it might be have been changed. Maybe they just changed it to make him look a little bit cooler, less tattoo on his one arm. 
Maybe there's the same one. I mean, he says the same shit that the Welcome to the Game one says. I mean, like, literally exact same lines. One of them is, good evening, and that's usually what he says. That's, like, one of his more popular, more used lines. And Oh. That's why he was fucking speeding. Shred. Believe a light just turned off. I have good ears. We got all that set. We just need to do female and brown. And there goes one of our lights. But first, first, we got to make sure we're not about to get fucking murdered. Like, at least the, uh, the kidnapper just tells you to do a sex trafficking ring, so you literally just get fucked every three minutes. We should change my gender, and then the kidnapper will show no interest. Oh! 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 Oh, my lord! Continue with the game. Oh, of course. So, wait. So, I, I thought maybe if you just went in the computer mode, he would just immediately leave because, you know, you're not paying attention. But I don't know if he would close the door behind him. And this bitch has the audacity, okay? The audacity to, uh, when the kidnapper, or not the kidnapper, but like when all the, you have like, you know, in between nights, you'll go from night one to night two, and you'll come in and all your windows are open and you have like five lights off. Like, come on, bitch, just fucking keep them on. <laughs> keep all the closets open. Yeah, that's why they tell you to keep it open. Did you see how when I walked over to the other one, it like immediately was closed? Or like after he... Pop down the hallway there. And Kayla's ex girl from from this part because he would not stop stalking me. Okay, so this one actually I know this one. It's the op opposite way around. She's actually stalking him. And then the morning. Okay, no ex car is found. Pulled over on a county road off Highway 34. The windows are fogged up and the car's interior lights was on. Said the car was no act and Lisa. Ooh, they were getting it on. Intoxicated or partial undress when question no act became defensive and aggressive the man insisted that he was so it just looks like it's why why anyway, we're gonna go and just check the lights i'm not opening that door I don't know when he le when he'll leave. I don't know what it's gonna look like when he leaves. I officer Tom Revere responded to a call at twenty two nineteen that some young teenagers were in. The Caught it. Now here's my question. Nope. He did leave. There's no sound for it. He just leaves after a minute. I know when I hear that squeaking noise, I'm just thinking immediately kidnappers lock picking, but how can you lock pick when there's no locks to pick? Or there's no lights off. I mean, there are locks to pick. I mean, how do you even pick lock a fucking window? Dear God, you really didn't get a good pr protection on this fucking house. I'd be like selling my shit and moving immediately. I did get to night two.
Again, doesn't learn from her mistakes. Constantly fucking leaving lights off, too. I mean, I thought this one really matters. I don't think that you actually need this one on. No, no, no they're, they're not bugged. They're not bugged. She's just trying to fucking kill me. Not that it matters with the bathroom, but I'm going to turn it on anyway. Better safe than sorry. Oh, by the way, you have to have the windows locked before you go to bed. If you unlock one, the kidnapper gets in and kills you in your sleep. Roy McNulty, he's got no alias, so if he's got no social media, but he does. Today's the day scary thought movie, Extravaganza. is crawling up the shelves in the rear of the backyard. And from, okay, develop some of the new photos from the scene reactions. Damn, they look good. I'm excited to see the looks on your faces as you pass through the tunnel of terror on your way to the seats. Y'all ready for a spring scarathon in two weeks? Okay, so it seems like he's pretty innocent. Yeah, I'm just going to immediately just shred this one. I feel like this is a huge waste of time. No! Wow, he was dirty. Whoops. Whoa! So we're good. Saw a dog that looked like it was in terrible shape lying. Come on, dude! Tanner, can you stop that? <laughs> what? Whatever, dude. I don't know how that wasn't... He sells dogs for fighting, unless I didn't get the evidence right. Probably because the two dogs. I mean, that, that photo probably wasn't a whole lot of evidence. It was probably uh, just circumstantial. I mean, yeah, it looked like two dogs were fighting, but at the same time, it looked like they were playing. So, whatever. We'll come back to this at some point. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.